Welcome back to our Tech by series. Today's video will be the final video of our 2021 series. And so I have Craig back with me to wrap things up before we all take a well-deserved break for Christmas. When we launched the series back in March, we were right in the midst of the pandemic with very little face-to-face -face interaction with customers. So Craig, how things have changed? They really have, Victoria. And if you think back, so when we started, so that was around March time. Mm -hmm. um, COVID was with us. Mm -hmm. we, we couldn't get out and meet customers. And we wanted some way of interacting with the mm -hmm. customers, some platform that we could actually share information on, on new products, new technology, and the different application areas that, that, that we mm -hmm. have. And really that's why TechBytes was born. So the big question then is, did we achieve this? Um, well, <laughs> I'd like to say yes, yeah. but no, I will say yes. The, the feedback from customers was really positive. Mm -hmm. um, we had some areas or some, some, some points from customers where they said we should improve. Mm -hmm. um, and we addressed that by introducing new tech bytes. So the actual series evolved over time. Yeah. Um, people also sent through questions mm -hmm. um, and I'd encourage people to still send through questions um, to info at hamamatsu.co.uk mm -hmm. and of course the videos are still live on our website so people can still visit um, you know, the Tech Bytes page. That's great, but can you give us a brief overview then of what topics were actually covered throughout the series? Well now you're testing me. <laughs> <laughs> now you're okay. <laughs> so um, as I said already then, then we evolved the series so the number of topics that mm -hmm. we planned at the beginning uh, actually grew to, I think it was more than 20 in the end. Um, that was based on the, the feedback and requests that we got. Um, now, I'm gonna just pick out a few, and I'm gonna get into trouble from our sales engineers <laughs> that presented with us, why didn't you tell me about me? Um, but it was, um, the medical was one of, obviously that's, that's an area or uh, topic which is um, particularly important. Um, we spoke about uh, photomultiplier tubes, the latest technology we have for that product, uh, mini and micro spectrometers, mm -hmm. and we were particularly addressing um, medical applications, COVID detection and sepsis. Um, then we also discussed uh, life science, our latest life science cameras. Mm -hmm. So there was the Fusion BT, one of the, one of the flagship cameras we have. That's using back thin technology, so high sensitivity. Mm -hmm. um, there was also the Quest, so that's got high pixel count, high frame rate and also industry-renowned uh, low noise. Um, then there was optical gas sensing. I yeah. think I'm remembering yeah. right, optical <laughs> gas sensing. Uh, so traditionally that market's used photoconductive detectors, mm -hmm. which I'm not an electrical engineer, so I'm gonna be corrected, I'm sure, by someone. Yeah. Um, but from my point of view, what I've had from, heard back from customers is it's not so easy to integrate that type of detector into a circuit. Um, but we've introduced photovoltaic, which is more easy. Um, but not only that, it has high sensitivity. So that's an indium arsenide antimony detector. And we also spoke about matched light sources for that uh, detector as well. Then what else was there? Um, so I'll mention one more because I know we're short for time. <laughs> Mass spectrometry. So that market, that's typically been a research uh, market. Mm -hmm. Um, but now we've introduced new types of detector, uh, which has expanded or allowed us to expand into to, to new areas for industrial security and also pharmaceutical. Great. So, next question. What next? Are we going to continue the Tech White series? Um, I'm not going to answer that question. <laughs> okay, but what I would say is we need to continuously change. So that's not just the the Tech Byte series, um, but that's also the ethos of Hamamatsu and why we bring out so many new products. We bring out hundreds of new products every every year. Um, but 
I will come back to that question in a minute. <laughs> but, <laughs> but what I also want to say is um, we can now visit customers, yeah. so which is really a step forward. And, um, and what I would kind of recommend is people get in contact with us, info at hamamatsu.co.uk, mm -hmm. email us, request a visit, and one of our sales engineers will be pleased to come and talk to you about our new latest products. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to answer your question now. Yeah. So we're going to continue with uh, online presence okay. and we will be announcing something in the new year. So what I would ask uh, people to do is mm -hmm. connect with us on LinkedIn because you know, you're going to be letting people know um, by putting a post out. What's going on? Yep. Okay. So final question then. Did every recording go to plan? I'm not going to answer that question. <laughs> what I would say is, um, you, I think you held a few things back from me, okay? Uh, I mentioned something off camera, didn't I, where, mm -hmm. you know, last night I was reviewing all the, all the videos again and I saw quite a few outtakes. But to me, it was really important. I could see our staff having a lot of fun mm -hmm. and that, that really is important to enjoy what they're doing mm -hmm. um, but on a serious note they did obviously inform the customers um, of, the, of the new products um, and what I would say is we all work for Hamamatsu I love Hamamatsu our customers and obviously people um, that work here um, but it's important that we get the chance to inform people of the, the world-renowned products that we make so we did that um, but we did that by also having a laugh as well and um, what I would say to the audience is continue to watch this video and you never know what might come so okay so my final final question is then is it now time for a laugh Craig well believe it or not I do like a laugh okay <laughs> um, but before we get to that point then mm -hmm. I want to be serious um, okay. because um, I'm not sure if you can remember the first video way back in, yeah. in March time. Um, and during that video, I kind of gave a message to, to the audience, which I want to repeat because it really is uh, important from my point of view. So when we visit customers, when we talk to customers and we are faced with a, a challenge, a new product or application, which appears to be impossible mm -hmm. then as a company then we don't say no we say let's try and because of that new products new applications new technology is born mm -hmm. which together the as a, a company from Hamamatsu side as an individual from the sales engineer's side and also obviously the person at the customer side then um, we we grow together and, and, and we succeed together, mm -hmm. um, which is really, really important. So all I can say is please continue to interact with us either online or through visits uh, from, from the sales engineers and let's grow successful together. But now I'm gonna answer your question. So I think now's really the time for us to, to have a bit of lighthearted humor. Mm -hmm. So I think they say roll VT. Back. <laughs> Over the next six months, I'll be introducing to the Hamamatsu, no, <laughs> wide range of products in multiple application areas. Well, <laughs> we can't use that. We can't. The tonics is fun. The latest possibilities. I need to do it for my very bad job. <laughs> Back then, we manufactured photomark. Ah! <laughs> and using a fan beam laser, the laser energy can be used over a wide area oh, at once. Oh. Oh. By replacing the microspectrometer in this. <laughs> replacing the microspectrometer! Give even curing <laughs> to large areas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
we have a range of different imaging cameras. Stop, sorry. We always welcome customers pr to provide samples for us. We always provide... Yes. <laughs> a relative signal to the right story, I had to do it. <laughs> With all confusion, BT comes first. <laughs> oh. Good question. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realise we were recording. <laughs> it's important to understand what measurement conditions. I've said the wrong word already. Restart. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I know you can go half and half. Oh, look. Alright, oh, look, they're fine. Sorry, sorry, I thought you were a quest. Sorry. Of course. No. <laughs> they are HHL. HHL. <laughs> you to analyse the structure or something. Ah, structure. Not, it's an atomic structure, you pleb. The LDLS can put. That's. No. <laughs> Okay, right, pause. For this beam control, yeah. Alternatively, please use the ask a question link below to ask a question on our page. <laughs> Especially within academic. Oh, okay, that was so <laughs>